Hi y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would do my July favorites. And today is July 29th, it's my father's birthday. So happy birthday to my dad. I was gonna say happy Father's Day, but it's not Father's Day. So happy birthday to my dad. Um, I know my background is different. I'm sitting in my breakfast room at my breakfast table right now. And we just have that um, painting hanging in there and the wall's kind of a khaki color. Um, so it's not as bright in here or as, um, I guess you can't really see me as easily as you can when I'm in the kitchen. Um, but I thought I would sit here at my table right now to do my favorites. And the first item, I don't have too many items this month. And I know um, in the months past, I've had more um, hair products, more um, kind of everyday things. Um, this month, I kind of focused on things that I already had or um, old stuff that I used to love and kind of, you know, fell in love with again. Um, I did get some new things, though, so those have become kind of like my favorite. Um, but the first thing that I am going to talk about is this, um, it's like my Holy Grail powder. I mean, I've tried every other powder. It's just the Cody Airspun um, Translucent looks like this, or it did look like this, um, at least until this month when I went to get a new one. And these, I probably buy two of these a year, and they last me, I mean, a good six months. I get a lot of use out of them. Um, and it's just my finishing powder. I just use it to set, you know, my makeup once I, when I put it on. Um, I do use my MAC um, Mineralize Skin Finish also uh, when I'm all the way finished with my makeup. Um, this I just use to help set my concealer or, um, my foundation if I'm gonna put on some eyeshadow and then mineralizes always last. Anyhow, um, I've used this, like I said, for years and years and years, I buy two a year, they last me a good six months, so I like that. And I've tried lots of other powders and I just don't find anything um, that I like that compares to this. I mean, it's just, you know, it's a good old standby. It's, it's good for, you know, whatever your powder needs are and I'm very oily, so it, it works for me. Um, anyhow, this month I went to pick up a new one, and now it looks like this. So they, I guess they're getting rid of the old paper packaging and moving into this plastic packaging. And there's the top. And I'm kind of depressed about it because this one, um, I remember this being on my grandmother's dresser growing up. Uh, so, you know, it's an old package, and this one, you know, it's, it's definitely neater. It's plastic, like, you know, that has a sifter in it, and that's a sifter right there. It's never come with a sifter before. Before, it was always this like plastic thing. Ooh, sorry, it's a plastic thing. You can see it in there. And then you have to like poke holes yourself, and mine always ends up peeling all the way. Can you see what it does right there? Um, so, I mean, it's better, but I think I'm gonna keep this anyway, just because, like I said, I remember it being on my grandmother's um, dresser, and it just, you know, good memories of that. It smells the same works the same, so it's the same product, just new packaging. Anyhow, um, next up, my favorite concealer this month. Um, it's my everyday concealer. I use two different concealers, one every single day for work um, and stuff like that, and then one specifically for when I uh, dress up or like weekend wear um, when I need more coverage, because I've got very, very dark circles. And so during the week, I usually stick with MAC or Laura Mercier or um, Smashbox or NARS. Um, and this one has become my new every single day one. It's the Superstay, I think it's Maybelline. Yeah, Maybelline Superstay 24 hour concealer. And it is in Ivory. Ivory is a shade that I use. It's the lightest one they make and it has the little doe foot applicator. And this works really, really well and it stays on all day long. I do work out so it stays on through my um, workout sessions when I run and all that stuff too. So. Really good product. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say about that. Ooh, anyhow, good product. Um, next up is going to be my Bare Essentials ID Bare Minerals Foundation in Fair. It's the 1C Fair. And this I've had uh, for a while. I've purchased it and repurchased it and you know, I love it. Um, I do fall out of love with it in the winter months, so that's why this is a favorite this month because in the heat I usually pull it out um, and, you know, start using it again 
just a little bit of a lighter coverage foundation um, for every day. So I use it with the Kabuki brush, and it's the Bare, Mint, Bare Essentials Kabuki brush. It used to say it right there. Now it's kind of worn off. But good product. And then I've got um, this Milani Liquify Metallic Eyeliner Pencil in gold. And it's Milani. It's drugstore. And it's gold. And it's really pretty for your waterline. I really want to pick it up in black. There's the gold line right there. I mean, it's just very, very pretty. Um, so I want to get it in black and brown and probably a purple and a navy blue if they have it in those colors because it lines my waterline and it stays and it's very hard to find something that will wa line your waterline. This is my Urban Decay. It's 24-7 bourbon. Eye pencil and bourbon right there in brown. This one also works on my waterline and it's very hard to find something that works on your waterline, like I said. So this one has become my standby for this month. Um, I also use the um, e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder almost every single day this month. Um, bronzers are big in the summer months for me because I'm extremely pale, if you can't tell, and I wear the lightest color foundation concealer powder um, that any line makes, like Laura Mercier or any, any of the lines. I always wear the lightest one. So bronzer is a necessity. Um, so there's that one. And I like them. I like the bronzer on my C. Um, the C is like right here. And then um, down the sides of my nose and a little bit on my chin right here. And then the blush on my apples. So that works very well for that. My favorite um, cream blush would be this Stila in Peony. Looks like that. And let's see if I can color swatch it. It's like that on. It's just very pretty when you rub it in. It gives a very pretty, whoop, you can't even see it here. Very pretty soft pink kind of glow. You see it right there? And I like to put that on um, after I've put on my concealer and everything and before I dust my face with powder to set. And it just gives a really pretty um, glow from underneath. And then this is my Maybelline Lash Stiletto Voluptuous. Now, I have very small um, eyes, so my eye lid area is very, very small also. So I have a hard time when it comes to mascara. The wands have to be just small enough or I will get it everywhere. And this one just works perfectly for me. There it is, can you see? There you go. Works perfectly for me. Um, and it's black. And I've probably purchased about six of these tubes because I just buy them over and over again. Um, but I had never featured them in a favorite, so I thought I would do that. And then um, these EOS lip balms, and I know everybody talks about these and everybody raves about these. These I like, uh, they came in a package with three. Um, one of them I gave away, and then, no, yeah, and then these two are the ones I have left, and I like these because, see, I carry one in my purse, and one stays in my bathroom, this is the mint one, one stays in my bathroom, uh, count. this is the one I carry in my purse, it's got my daughter's teeth marks on it, because she thought it was candy, um, and then this one stays in my bathroom on the counter, so I have one in my purse all day long, and then one at night for when I go to bed and I can put my stuff on. And then lastly, I've got, oh no, two more things. My Coastal Scents palettes, I ordered these last month and they came in the beginning of the month, so I've been using them since then. This is the Coastal Scents 88 Metals palette, or Metal Mania palette, and it's got all the lovely, I know you guys have seen these before, got all the lovely colors in them. Okay, so I've been using that a lot, a lot, a lot um, to do different looks different metallic looks for night and stuff like that. And then this is the Shimmer Eye Shadow Palette. And I got them together because they were on special. Um, so there's the Shimmer Palette right there. And I like this one um, for all the greens and the yellows. You can do, you know, summary of the blues, summary look. And then last up is my Paul Mitchell Moisture Supercharged Moisturizer. It's a hair product. And it's like a deep uh, treatment conditioner for your hair. You put it in, leave it in for three to five minutes, and then you rinse it. And this works wonders. I am a major Paul Mitchell fan. That's pretty much all I use in my hair. Um, I do use different shampoos and conditioners. I kind of stick to the Garnier family when it comes to shampoos and conditioners. But for everything else, styling products and everything else, it's always Paul Mitchell for me. That the, They're my favorite. That's what I just choose to use. And this works very, very well to keep moisture um, and my hair is curly, so it helps it um, to stay moisturized and just very shiny. So that works really, really well. 
And lastly, my iPod. My daughter found this the other night. I don't know where I asked and she would not tell me, um, but she found it. And I know I was complaining about that in a video that I had up a while back. Anyhow, I'm out of time, so you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.